Thank you for joining us on Sheridan County Ag Update. Today I have with me Heidi Justice, the 4-H Horse Superintendent. Heidi, thanks for joining us. Hi, Liz. Thanks Hi. for having me. I'm so honored that you'd ask me. Well, I'm excited you're here. Me too. Yes. Real quick before we get going, I want to say a quick thank you to our sponsors, Heartland Kubota and True Built Builders. We appreciate you sponsoring our podcast so we can keep going. Thank you. Yes. So, Heidi, let's talk about horse. Sounds great. Let's talk about horse. I'm very excited about 4-H horse this year. I've got lots of new kids and That's it's great. really cool. Good. Yes. Good. Yes. So we've been practicing um, on average every week, every other week, mm-hmm. um, practicing different elements, patterns, showmanship, just the different aspects that we show at fair. Well, I was going to say there's a ton because you not only do Western, but you do English and you do speed events. So it's, there's a lot. Yes, there's a lot. So this year at fair, it's going to be Saturday is going to be all of our Western events. Mm -hmm. So we start out with cow horse. Um, One of the kids is favorite events ever. I I think if I could just do cow horse, they would be happy. (laughs) So we do that first. Um, Since we have cattle. Mm-hmm. Um, want to get that done. And then we go through all of our Western events. So ranch riding, reining, mm-hmm. Western pleasure, <clears throat> junior horse. Um, mm-hmm. We have a, um, a class for that as well. Um, yeah, so that takes up most of Saturday, mm-hmm. a long day. And then Sunday, we start out with showmanship and then halter mm-hmm. and then English events. Mm-hmm. And we do have jumping as well. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, and then to round out the, the day it's speed events, which all the kids just love and have fun with. Oh yeah. So yeah. And they're cheering each other on. It's just, it's so great. Which, you know what, that's really what 4-H and FFA are supposed to be about. Yes. Having, learning something, but still having fun and, and being a good sportsman with your friends. Yes, absolutely. I did forget on Saturday, we're doing trail as well okay. with mm-hmm. the Western events. Mm-hmm. So we do that in the outdoor arena. We're at the Agri Park. So we're mm-hmm. indoors for the majority of it and then trails outdoors. So mm-hmm. we can kind of keep things rolling and doesn't, you know, doesn't put us home at 9 p.m. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. And trail trail takes a little bit. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you have a lot of different, <laughs> yeah. if you've never seen it, you have different obstacles. You have to open a gate. Yes close a gate, get the mail from the mailbox. Like it takes a little bit. Yes, absolutely. And we also went on that day um, after trail, we do a yearling in hand program, okay. which I'm really proud of our kids. Every mm-hmm. year they bring just these quality yearlings and they go through an in hand course, like a trail course, because mm-hmm. they've mm-hmm. been working with them for, gosh, for months. And it's just really fun to see. Well, good. Yeah. So, Let's touch on your high point horse that you guys have. Oh, yeah. That's a really neat program. Let's, yes, I love let's that. Let's tell everybody about it. Tell everybody about that. So high point horse is um, what you have to do is you have to enter two of the three um, categories is what mm-hmm. I call it. So the Western events, the English mm-hmm. events, and the speed events. So you can either do Western and English you mm-hmm. can do Western and speed. Um, doesn't matter. It has mm-hmm. to be on the same horse. Mm-hmm. It's just one horse, one rider. And then whoever has the cumulative, the most cumulative points at the conclusion of fair mm-hmm. wins uh, the high point horse buckle. Well, that's great because yes. it's always great to have a horse that's diversified. Yes, that you can do absolutely. more than one thing on. Yes, absolutely. And all the kids love doing that. They love you know, like you said, competing mm-hmm. against each other and then also cheering for each other on the same hand. So it's very fun. It's very, very fun. Well, it's been fun to work with you too in the past, Heidi. When I was still with the Wranglers, we had a lot of girls that did do 4-H in the Wranglers. Yes. And so it just makes them better riders. And I still see some Absolutely. of these young ladies. I see some of them are running for the Wild Rodeo Royalty as well as carrying flags for the Wranglers. And it's just been, it's fun to watch them come through the the program absolutely absolutely i think the same thing and it's exciting for me too as their 4-h horse mm-hmm. project leader to see them mm-hmm. and also see them diversifying themselves and and mm-hmm. kind of putting them 
selves out there stretching themselves to where they're doing something new. They're trying something new. And, something that's not comfortable sometimes. Right, exactly. And just building those skills. So I see a lot of good potential there, and I'm really excited for all of them. Well, and it's good for their horses. Yes, absolutely. It's good for their horses. And we say that a lot to the kids. Um, we realize that some kids just want to do this event mm -hmm. or that event. Mm -hmm. We also tell them that putting them in trail, putting mm -hmm. them in um, ranch riding, mm -hmm. doing some of those slower things um, also helps them with the fast things that they want to do as well because it does give them that foundation. And that's what I've learned a lot from people who have helped me and just helping um, reiterate that with our kids and making sure they're good mm -hmm. horsemen. We really, that that is one of the foundational things that we mm -hmm. in our program really try to to emphasize. And it's so exciting too, Liz, to see all these kids. Uh, I've seen them now for years or mm -hmm. I've seen them at the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. And now that we're progressing, it's just so awesome to see how far they've come mm -hmm. and what progress they've made. It, it really it really is fun and good. You know, one of my dad's favorite sayings teaching kids for years was slow down to be fast. Yes. Isn't that and the as truth? a kid, that's hard because you're like, <laughs> yes. I don't want to slow down. Like I want to go, but yes. slow down to be fast. And the, and yep. you don't realize it till you are maybe in that competition. And you're like, well, I, everything went right. And it didn't feel like I was rushing and everything was good. Yes. So true. Yes. Quality Kubota machinery and customer care from the heart. Proudly serving Sheridan and the surrounding areas since 1996. Go online to heartlandkubota.com or stop by Heartland Kubota 2450 Heartland Drive. Well, hey, let's talk about a little bit about the round robin. So the horse kids actually get to show in the round robin. Yes, that, that absolutely. That happens on Sunday. Yes. So the winners of the showmanship in junior, intermediate, and senior, mm -hmm. all of them progress to the round robin. Mm -hmm. So they can show their horse there and then show all the other animals as mm -hmm. well. So I, oh, um, showing a horse is so much different than showing <laughs> livestock animals. And it you is. know that. Mm -hmm. And so um, a lot of times our kids are really great mentors to mm -hmm. the other kids who are in round robin. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of them have never shown a horse before, mm -hmm. don't know what it takes or just the differences and nuances. So I think that's super exciting that they include horse in that because it really round robin is definitely an all around showmanship mm -hmm. group, you know, and, and competition. Like it's so fun for all those kids. And also it's like the, you know, the livestock kids as mm -hmm. well. It's bringing um, those quality horses to be shown by the other kids who they have been, you know, they've been worked with. They know how mm -hmm. to, they know what needs to be done. So that is helpful, I think, too, for them. So it's good. I remember Jet West. I'm like, okay, you do not jack a horse's head up like you do right. a steer. Okay. No, <laughs> no. You don't take the pig whip. No. Okay. Right. It's These just, are... it's definitely different. Mm -hmm. And, and, they, and I have some kids that love showmanship. Oh, they just, they love it. Mm -hmm. And then I have other kids that say, do I have to do that? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> I mm -hmm. think just like any other, um, you yeah. know, any other livestock or, um, you know, animal event, I think that's common. And mm -hmm. so we have had practices. And um, this past weekend, I had Kendall Haas come and give mm -hmm. a little practice well, I put on a clinic on Saturday. It was so mm -hmm. lovely. She was, she is awesome. Um, and she came and did a little bit of showmanship in that, during that too. So oh, that good. was really helpful for good. them. And then we had a little practice show on Sunday. So just to give them some pointers of how mm -hmm. to improve where they and can do better. And a little better. confidence. And a little, and a little confidence mm -hmm. is huge. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it gave a lot of them, you know, time to work through things and then with her coaching you know they could act sometimes they couldn't they might not have been able to start out doing it and mm -hmm. by the end they could and right. so that's exactly right the confidence mm -hmm. and then they can take that into fair knowing that they can do that right yeah 
So I was so happy that we could do that. And yeah, so Good. she did a little showmanship. So, and that was fun to see too. Some of the, some of them had not, you know, ever done it. So, and just watching them progress was really, mm -hmm. really exciting. Good. Yeah. Well, when is the horse show and where's it at? The horse show is July 27th mm -hmm. and July 28th. So it'll be that last Saturday and Sunday of July. Okay. And really the horse show kind of kicks off there. It is. It's um, the it start. really is. It's the start of it. Um, we're, we are at the Agri Park, mm -hmm. which is on the north end of town. It's the indoor arena, the college barn. Mm -hmm. Some people know it um, mm -hmm. as that. So it's just, you know, really just across the street from um, the Common Sense mm -hmm. down there. And we start each day at 8 a.m. Um, so it, it's difficult for me to tell you, you know, what time any event might be. And um, that's what I've also learned with horse shows. I can give ballpark sometimes, but also sometimes... Depending on how many kids I have, I, I'm not 100% if there's trailer, sure. If there's trailers up there, it's yes, still going on. Yes, if there's on. trailers up there, please come and just come watch. If you um, are interested in um, Western events, it's Saturday. Mm -hmm. If you want to watch Showmanship, English, Speed, that Sunday, um, we, yeah, we'll be there all day. I mean, really, all day. Making plans for building a new barn, shop, or commercial building? Don't do any planning without a call to Sheridan's premier post-frame building and homes builder, True Built Builders, online at truebuiltbuilders.com. So, yeah. Well, I, I, I hate to talk about controversy, but we'll talk about it for just a second. I yes. know that there has been, you know, with anything else, there's always rumors and things that go around of why you're at the agri park. But truly, it was really kind of parent-driven and kid-driven because you're not out in the hot sun right. and it's easier for people to come watch they're not sitting there just melting yes so you are absolutely right um there have mm -hmm. been some questions and i have gotten questions again mm -hmm. um we made the decision yes to go to the indoor barn mm -hmm. um for for a, a few reasons actually mm -hmm. um and it was parent and kid driven mm -hmm. um we you're absolutely right. It is, we're in indoors, we're in the shade, um, kids, horses, mm -hmm. um, just for them to be able to show their best and be able to, you know. Um, There's nothing worse sustain. than a cranky horse because he's That's hot. That's right. Or kids or yes. both. And, and so that was part of it. Um, another part was um, I have um, people who want to come watch who are mm -hmm. handicapped. Mm -hmm. And when it was, uh, and when um, we had to move arenas, it was really difficult. Mm -hmm. So here I have um, accessibility for them as well. Mm -hmm. So that was part of it. Um, and um, yeah, the kids, just the, the heat and, and being out of the heat, you know, right. even for a little while. Right. Um, even though trail is still out in the outdoor arena, they're only there for a short period of time. Right. Or warming up, you mm -hmm. know, either one. So um, that was that was pretty much it. It's not to say that we won't ever go back to mm -hmm. the fairgrounds. Not, you know, it's still um, it's still an option mm -hmm. um, for right now. Just with the needs that our kids have, and the group of kids that I have, and parents and grandparents, um, it it really is just the best for our group right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, Stuart and I went and watched part of the horse show one day and ended up, it was like, oh, I can't. I, I mean, I love these kids. I'm all about the horses, but I got to go. <laughs> like, this girl's melting out here. And yes. I'm a, I like the heat. Like, yes. I'm like my dad. I'm a lizard. Give me the give me the heat. But yes. it was a little much that day. And and, yep. and you could just see those horses as the day went on. It just, the, it, they, it does. they don't like the heat either. They want to be under a tree. So... It was yeah. really the best decision. So I just I think so too. I wanted to cover that just you Yeah, know. absolutely. And and I'm happy to talk with anyone about mm -hmm. that. I mm -hmm. am, you know, and I'm very open um about the options that we have and mm -hmm. you know, if things change and mm -hmm. and people want to change, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. You know, we're definitely a dynamic group all of us <laughs> and and we really um almost take it year by year. Right. So, yeah. Right. And 
Um, and we have practiced up there as well. So mm -hmm. this winter, uh, we didn't ride this winter um, after last winter when we couldn't get there mm -hmm. most of the time. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, decided yeah. to start in the spring this year instead. Mm -hmm. So, and um, there have been a few times that we are all very happy that we're indoors and not in the wind and the rain and the sleet. So we, our kids were very grateful for that. So I do want to say thank you and give a shout out to um, the Sheridan Wild Rodeo Board and mm -hmm. Tom Wood, mm -hmm. um, Zane Garstad, Cindy Wolf. I work with them a mm -hmm. lot and I really appreciate them and I appreciate being able to be there and our kids do too. Right. And, um, right. and also um, Dan and Kathy Riggs and Brad at CNK Equipment. They are big sponsors of mm -hmm. youth and I want to tell them thank you. Um, I want to tell you so thank you so much. Our kids and parents really appreciate you and just, you know, I couldn't do this program without all the community support that right. we have. And parents bringing their kids, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's such a big project and kids committing to come yes. and, you know, it's just, it is, it's unlike some of the other projects, mm -hmm. you know, it that is. are in 4-H mm -hmm. and FFA and, and just its uniqueness. Uh, sometimes, you know, we just have to embrace that and, and work with that as well. Well, and, and your kids in the horse project, it's a little different. They don't sell. They're, right. they're, they're like the dog, you know, they're not a market project. This is right. This is something that these kids uh, keep and they use daily for, you yes. know, so it is a different thing. And it's great that our community can give back to this program yes. in a way, just like they give back to the kids at the sale with, yeah. with the um, getting to use the barn. Yep. Thanks to the sponsors, you know, Dan and Kathy Riggs and Brad Walden with CNK and the wild rodeo board. I mean, Yes, that's their way of giving back to these kids as well. So they're they're still getting something. They just may not see the check at the end of the year, but they still get they, a huge oh, thing that that they yes. get to use that arena. Yes, so. absolutely. And they they know the value of that and mm -hmm. appreciate that. And it's been just really fun to to see them come. And yeah, they they just really really have just thrived this year. Well, good. And just grown i love it's it's great to see well heidi i hope to have you back again we'll we'll yes, make this anytime. short yes we'll have you back again um you have some things cooking that i know we're going to be talking yes. about soon um so we'll just leave that as a little preview of what's coming up but um thank you for joining us today taking the time and thank you to our sponsors heartland kubota and true built builders we appreciate you guys thank you liz my yes. pleasure being here and thank you and shared in media for doing this i i think getting all of our information out mm -hmm. to our community and you never know who's going to be listening. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it's great. So thank you wanna... for doing that. You bet. Or who might want to come. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll have you back again. Okay. Sounds all right. great. Thank you. Yes. For more news, sports, and podcasts, check out sharedmedia.com.